As you can see, uh, my name is Joshua Matos. I am the CEO of CodeDrop. Um, I'm actually repping the drop also in my socks too, just try to point that out. <laughs> that logo is also designed by me as well. Um, just had to point that out there. So a little bit about me. Um, I was born in San Francisco, California, as some of you may know as Silicon Valley. Um, my family is born and raised in Cuba. I was actually the first generation here in the States. So hopefully I'll be the first to doing many things for my family, you know. Um, I did play D1 college baseball. Um, as you can see, some of those pictures are actually they're quite old, but a little recent. Um, favorite hobbies, I, I specify just sports in general, because any really sport I really enjoy, basketball, football, baseball, you name it. Um, developing, I do actually enjoy doing this. Um, and gaming as well. So a little purpose of why I decided to make Code Drop. Um, it's a long statement there, but just summarizing it. It's basically a, to fit programmers' needs, the goal for the site is to make users feel comfortable sharing their daily coding, coding blogs. So any idea that you come up with throughout the day is like, oh, I should have probably did this. Like you can just go into the website and just blog it. This way you can see the next day when you go in, it's like, oh yeah, that's right, that was the idea. And you can just reestablish on that. Um, I was also inspired by the movie The Social Network, which is Mark Zuckerberg's movie, basically how he created Facebook. And if you notice, before he even created Facebook, he actually went in and he would blog everything that he did throughout the day. And I decided I want one for myself as well. So some of the technical challenges. Yeah, I did look like that girl last night trying to figure this out. <laughs> um, Heroku is number one. Even the name is terrible. Sounds like a Dragon Ball Z character <laughs> to me. Um, developing routes to show specific content. So a little bit like um, what Sat said, like just transitioning the colors. It's, it's easier the way we were doing it before, but now that we're using React, a little better interface, it's, it requires a lot more code, um, which sometimes can blow your mind. Um, implementing a proper backend and security system to authenticate. Um, that was a big struggle I had during the first week. Um, it took up a lot of my time. Um, my whole backend is already security. Um, it's ready for security, so not anybody can edit a certain blog. Nobody should be able to delete a certain blog that a certain you know, user created. Only that user can edit or delete that blog, and vice versa. So some solutions to my challenges. Um, there's a reason why I put that book there, because I'm actually, what I've been doing is every commit that I commit to GitHub, so basically any, every little section that I do in my code, I would read a chapter or a certain section in the, in the book. So basically just take your mind off of it. It's, it's actually called the Pomodoro Technique, um, thanks to Manny, help me figure that out. Um, it's basically just taking your mind off of it, you know, just do what you gotta do, and then come back and then you'll notice how you're refreshing your mind, you can think a lot better. Um, and also just creating a strategy to face the issues and find a solution on how to fix that issue as well. Just planning it out basically. Future add-ons, um, I couldn't fit everything on the page, so some of them are pretty broad. Um, live chat system, definitely I would like to have a live chat system where um, certain users can have, I don't really have to elaborate to that, no, live chat system. Uh, code snippet availability, I would like to be able to, you can actually implement like putting your actual code from VS Code or whatever text editor you're using and actually put it on the blog. Um, private messaging system is actually already ready in the back end. It's just getting it on the front um, was my issue. So I actually almost got it to work, but not yet. Um, an invite system for the clans. Um, right now is I have clans that you can make groups, invite people, um, but you can't really accept it as of yet, basically. So this is my live URL demo for code drop. Probably have to zoom out. There you go. It's just one of my favorite quotes here, just to help you inspire yourself to code more, so why not? So let's log in here. You can also sign up here, but why not? I already have a user. So let's log in as Bob. All right. I'm not saving that, Nick might hack me. Um, so, it's just, this is my landing page. If you're interested in CodeDrop, you can sign up. 
A um, little bit of benefits of what blogging really does. Um, you, can, you know, become a better writer, build a network, express yourself, take control of your online identity, and last but not least, gain influence. So you go into here, you go into your profile, you see all the blogs you've created already. Um, you can also create one here as well. And boom. So you can go in here. If you screwed up, you want to edit it, you can do that as well. Um, if you want to delete it, it's this really small button that should have probably added something. <laughs> and it takes you right back to all the blogs. These are all the blogs the other people created. Um, same thing, you can go in here and see the owners that created it. Um, here's the clan feature that I still haven't implemented yet, but hopefully it's a future add-on. And also the messages as well. You can view the messages that the private users has sent to you as a private message. And that's my app. Thank you very much.